dessert. I am making a recipe today and I wanted to share it with you. This is a recipe I make for my husband and myself when we want something sweet, but not too sweet and not too many calories. This is called a truffle. At least that's what we call it. And it's super easy to make, so I wanted to share it with you. I'm trying to get everything in so you can see it on this um, filming thing on the camera. I'll put the, the I'll just do one at a time. A glass, just a tumbler glass, regular glass, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to put this down. You won't be able to see my head for a minute, but you can at least see what I'm doing. All right, first thing you do, this is whipped cream. Any kind of whipped cream, doesn't matter. Get a fork or something to spoon it out into the glass with. Just put a dollop way down in the bottom of the glass. It's going to be your little cushion to put the rest of your stuff on. Next thing you need, this. Pudding. This is sugar-free pudding. My husband is diabetic, and it's not that he doesn't eat any sugar. He's not supposed to eat as much as he does. But you want to have something healthy, so you don't want to have a whole lot of sugar in it. I'm looking for my fork that I just had that I put the whipped cream in the thing with. And it's in the whipped cream, of course. All right, so take half of the tub, the little container of pudding, and just drop it in there. All right? Next thing you're going to do, fruit. This is tropical mixed fruit. He likes that. So we do it with the tropical mixed fruit. Take the container lid off. Pour out the juice because you don't want to have a whole lot of juice in there. It makes the whipped cream kind of soggy and just doesn't work as well. It's not as fluffy. Whoops. All right. Take your fruit. Now, with this fruit, it's kind of hard to get enough pineapples because they're always on the bottom. But drop a few little pieces of fruit in there. And if you can, get the pineapples to the top. Stir them around kind of because those are kind of the best part, especially if you're using chocolate pudding in this truffle which I'm not. I'm just using vanilla. All right, put some fruit in there. Now, um, these are chia seeds, and this is just kind of makes it extra healthy. They're really a good source of protein and other stuff. Put a little bit of chia in there. They're just healthy for you. All right, and now take pieces of cake, like leftover cake, or you can use cookies. You can use graham crackers, whatever yummy type of cake type thing that you like, put that in there. You're going to do the same thing again. Whipped cream, and it doesn't have to be in this order. It's just the order I'm choosing to do it in so you can see it better, I guess. Okay, so whipped cream, and now you're pudding. Okay. I'm doing it with just one container of pudding, so I only put it in there twice, half and half. Pudding. All right, and your fruit. Put a little bit of peaches, and I think there's some kind of mango or something in here. I'm pretty sure, because my husband loves mango. So do I. Some pineapples, of course. There you go. And I also have this to show you after I put more chia on it. Chia seeds. You can also put flax on the top of it. That's really good for you, too. But chia doesn't have any flavor, so you don't have to worry about it tasting weird or anything. And now just like a little bit, you can see that little handful of, these are Premier White Chocolate Chips on the top. And if you want, which I do, dollop it with a little bit of whipped cream on the top. Make it kind of fancy if you can. I could just like get one of those baggies and squeeze it out and make a little whip on the top. But there you go. That's a truffle. Don't ask me how many calories are in it. Not a whole lot. It's made with sugar-free pudding. Um, these Hershey's chips are like in a tablespoon. There's 80 calories. And that wasn't even a tablespoon that I had in my hand. So, whatever. Um, but it's a nice treat. It's not an everyday thing, but it's a great treat if you like something sweet. And you don't want to have like too sweet and too chocolatey and too fudgy and too many calories. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm sure you could use like fat-free, sugar-free whipped cream if you want. Um, I usually tend to go with the real thing if I'm going to splurge a little bit and have a treat. So there you go. That's a truffle. They give it to my husband when he comes in from working outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you're doing with your goals. I'm doing okay. 
Haven't stood on a scale in a little bit, but I will eventually make it to the scale and do my measurements tomorrow probably because it is Friday and that's when I do mine. Meanwhile, I'm working on some business.